Hi friends, it's Miss Jennifer from Somerset Academy of Music and I'm back with our series on technical exercises. We are on exercise number 10. We are book one, group one, exercise 10. This is our 10th week in the series and boy do I have a fun one for you today and an important exercise, one that I think you'll enjoy. Um, we're gonna be playing the C scale so um, if you don't know the C scale, you might be able to learn it from watching this video, but if you're not familiar with it, you can always go back and watch my video on how to play a C scale. We're only gonna be doing one octave. I'll try to put a link right here. Um, go and watch that video first to learn how to play the C major scale. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting with both our hands on middle C. We're gonna be playing a one octave scale, going all the way up and back down twice. We're gonna be going what's called contrary motion. So that means the hands are gonna be going in opposite directions playing the scale. Then we're gonna be reaching and doing octaves at the end. So I'm gonna show you the right hand first, the left hand, and we'll put it together. So again, yeah, the right hand is just gonna be playing a one octave C scale, just with the normal fingering, which is like this. One, two, three, tuck your thumb under to F. That's one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hit the C again, and then we're gonna come back down. Five, four, three, two, one, cross three to E, three, two, one. We're gonna hit C again and do the whole thing over again. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. And then we get here, we're gonna hit the C, we're gonna hold it for two beats, we're gonna reach up, and play this higher C with our fifth finger, whole octave for two beats, three, four, and come back down to middle C for four counts. One, two, three, four. Let me do that again a little smoother. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna count these as eighth notes now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three So that's the right hand. The left hand is gonna basically be doing the opposite of that, going down and back up. All the same notes, just in completely opposite order. <laughs> and uh, the fingering's actually the same because our hands are mirror opposites. This is what the left hand looks like. I'm gonna say the finger numbers. One, two, three, tuck your thumb to G. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hit that C again. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna cross our third finger over to A. Three, two, one. We're gonna repeat that C. One, two, three, tuck your thumb. That's one, two, three, four, five. Repeat your five. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross three, two, one. Then we're gonna stretch the octave down to the lower C, the bass C. We're gonna hold that for two beats. And then we're gonna come back up here and hold this for four beats. Did that make sense? <laughs> Hopefully it did. Okay, so now this is when it gets really fun. We're gonna put that hands together. So the hands are gonna be going in opposite directions. All right, I'm gonna play it a little slowly the first time and then I I'll guess I'll say the finger numbers because the finger numbers are the same. Let's try it out. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, one, five, one. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit and I'm gonna count it this time. One and two and three and four and one and two. sure with practice you can get that. Don't give up on yourself. If hands together feels hard, just practice it separately. Right, so I'm gonna play the whole exercise again. Why not? I'm gonna play it legato and then I'm gonna repeat staccato. 
Okay, here's what it looks like. Wish me luck. exercise 10 so hopefully if you are able to you're following along with this plan you are should now be practicing 10 exercises a day play each exercise twice a day as your warm-up before you start your regular practice routine so we've got exercise 1 through 10 some of them repeat staccato um, but play all of them at least twice a day and you should be really starting to feel yourself your fingers get stronger your fingers get faster and we've got two more exercise left in this group so that's it friends thank you so much for joining joining me for book one, group one, exercise 10, and I will see you next week with exercise 11. Take care.